Hello YouTube, you know what this means, you got it, it's another CGC unboxing, stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, if this is any indication, I guess everyone knows what's in the box. It is my Hulk 181, and this is a very important unboxing for two reasons. The first is we're going to see if I was able to secure a conserved grade based on the extensive work that I performed on the book. I don't know what the results are. I will find out with you. Second, this opening or unboxing is going to reveal the grade, and it is going to give the answer. So the person who guessed the correct grade will win a piece of the Hulk 181. If they are more than one person who guessed the grade, then we will do a duck race or a random selector to pick the winner. When this is going to be uploaded, I am going to take a screenshot of all the comments on the upload. So I, if you see, did not respond to any of the comments because I don't want to look at it. I want to look at it when I know the grade and then I want to go through it. But before I upload this, like I said, I'm going to take a screenshot of all the comments. Any comments that are added after my screenshot are not counted in the actual giveaway. So let's get going. Let's put this to the side. Let's open this up and let's see what is inside. Well, I know what's inside, but let's see the grade. Now, I am quite nervous looking at this. I'm going to be honest with you because I really am a little on the fence whether I was able to achieve what I set out to do. So here we go. We have it opened. Let's put the box down on the ground. Let's take the bubble wrap away. And I really like how CGC now is putting the book between two pieces of cardboard. So that really makes it easy for me or for someone to do a reveal without basically giving it away. So what I want to do now is I want to stop and I want to go back. And I want to show you what I predicted the book was going to be. Let's see if I got it right. Enjoy. So when and if I send this book to CGC, my prediction will be 1.0 conserved grade. Okay, YouTube, as you saw, I predicted a 1.0 conserved that was based off of the Batman number one that I saw. Let's take these rubber bands off for the reveal. So, am I close? Did I achieve my goals? As you can see, the book previously had a 0.5 restored. And what the actual restoration included was Small amount of color touch on cover, spine of cover completely split and reattached with tape, cover detached, tape on interior cover. So it used to be a 0.5. Now, just talking about it a little bit, I don't think that label gave a accurate description of the work that was on the book. Because I recall correctly as a youth, basically taking watercolor and coloring the reds, the greens, the blacks, there was extensive watercolor on the book. Because when I had this book originally, it was very faded. So it was sort of faded like this photocopy depicts. 
And what I did was I took a brush and I gently watercolored the red. I remember going over the green, the black. Also, there was glue on the spine that CGC did not pick up. So without further delay, let's do it on the count of three. One, two, three, and the grade is, bam, bam, ba, a, a 1.5 conserved. So that's pretty cool. I was able to change a 0.5 restored and make it a 1.5 conserved. I'm very happy with that. And I think, in my opinion, although the book may look a little different than it used to, I think that I did a great job. And I think the 1.5 conserved is heck of a lot better than having a 0.5 restored grade. So I would appreciate if everyone would like to comment, let me know. Tell me if you think that you liked it better looking the other way. I, I don't think so because now we have a book that is free of color touch, of glue, of tape. And I honestly think the value is a lot more than a 0.5 restored. So I'm going to give myself some applause. I am very happy with the 1.5 conserved grade. Here is a quick perusal of the front. Here is a quick perusal of the back. And lesson learned is, and what it says is conservation includes a leaf casting to cover. I don't want to knock CGC because they've been good to me lately. And I think maybe my actual paranoia about them watching now is subsided a little bit but they are not putting in the notes that the actual interior pages were leaf casted so i did leaf cast the interior pages i the actual centerfold and the first page was leaf casted they didn't pick it up because i think it was the best leaf casting that I did to date. I really matched the pulp. There is something floating in here that I notice now. And if you can see it, let's see if the camera picks it up. See that little speck that's in there. So whether I should do anything about that, I don't know. It could have been a piece of the leaf casting that fl uh, flaked off. I think I'm gonna leave it alone. So there you go, everyone, 1.5 conserved from a 0.5 restored. And here you go, everyone. Congratulations to the winner. We'll soon find out who it's gonna be. And I wanna thank everyone for watching the series. If you didn't watch the series, I would ask everyone to go back and check it out. It's a cool series. It's a step-by-step -step process of how you can take a restored book and change it to a conserved grade. And it would greatly be appreciated if everyone can take a look at it who didn't take a look at it. Oddly enough, I'm checking out my statistics on my YouTube page and 50% of my viewers are not subscribed. And I found that quite odd that 50% of the viewers are not subscribed. So I wanna thank all of you who are subscribed and I wanna ask the viewers who are not subscribed to please do, it helps the channel out and I can continue creating content that I hope all of you enjoyed. So that's it everyone, the saga is done of the Hulk 181 at a 1.5 conserved a 0.5 higher than Jerry the Jitterbug predicted. I guess my predictions are getting a little rusty. So stay tuned, YouTube, and thank you.